Hey guys, I hope that y'all are having a wonderful Friday. I am about to go shopping at a church garage sale. And I would say right below estate sales, church sales are my next favorite place to thrift. Over the years, I have found amazing things at church garage sale. So there's already a line around the block. I'm gonna go get in it and hopefully it's not too crazy and I can get some footage for y'all. So let's go shopping. They must have opened the doors a few minutes early because everybody is already inside. <laughs> I got my bag. Big tip, always bring your own bag to things like this. Also, make sure you bring cash. Oh man, it's a lot of stuff here. All right. I'm not sure how this one goes. Okay, everything's priced. That's good. Because at some, it's just you grab stuff and then you don't know what the price is. Okay, 100%, I'm getting this. I'm gonna have to go make me a pile somewhere. I have something I wanna do, I'm grabbing these. Let me see this stool, what it says. Step up to be tall, sit down to be small. That is precious. I don't need another stool though. I'll leave that for somebody else. All right, got me a pal going. That's pretty. It is $8. It's a real oil painting. That's a print. Little bunny rabbits. This one's cute and heavy. Look at this pot, these flowers. Okay, I found some pottery. There's four of these plates. They are really pretty. I love the leaves. Mm, right. And these are Fitz and Floyd Manhattan Garden. It's $8 for the set. They also have these two bigger pottery pieces. Um, I wish they were a different color, but I did check these online and these sell for pretty good money. So I'm gonna find out what the price is on these. Luckily, it's so big here, I can actually film because everybody's pretty spread out. Oh, that's adorable. Some tall candle set sticks was $15 for the set. Tons of picture frames. I may look through those last. I have a lot of picture frames right now. Is this glass? The glass close, y'all. 50 cents. I'm grabbing that. Oh, look. Is this Hummel? No, it is not. Although, I bought a Hummel figurine and it did not sell. Oh, some little birds. These little birds are 10 cents. Oh, they're coming home with me. Okay, I'm going to grab the close and the bird. This little basket. All right, this seems to be the nautical theme stuff. That is cute. Fifty cents. I like the prices over here. What is this thing? So oh, that's cool. You hang that up on the wall, I think. I feel like it's missing something. All right, here's the Easter section. Y'all. Look how cute. They have a lot of stains on them, though. They are precious. Somebody painted this bunny. $1. I think bunnies are great year round. The shelf. Five dollars. Are y'all seeing anything that I should grab? And go look at that stuff right there. Cat figurines. 
They give me every time. It's only a dollar. Ooh. This is two dollars. This is so pretty. Okay, I'm getting this. All right, let's see what these things are. It says made in India. They're three different sizes. I wonder if they're measuring cups. Oh, they are. That is so cute. So that's one cup. And then this one is a fourth of a cup. Okay, I'm getting this set. They're $2. Sewing patterns, 10 cents each. Oh my gosh, look at all this thread. Look at all this yarn. Yarn, $1 each unless marked. I wish they had some vintage yarn. Look at all the fabric. Crosses. A bunch of wooden crosses. These would be great to embellish stuff. Or you could um, turn it into a piece of artwork, like maybe make a background for it. I've always done well selling crosses. I have a few boxes of florals. I'm definitely going to look through these. This wreath is only $5. I'm going to go put this in my pile. Alright, I'm walking to my pile and looking. Look how cute this is. It's a little grinder, but I like how pretty it is. I still didn't make it to my pile yet. Look what I found. Oh shoot. I'm going to pick that up, y'all. <laughs> 25 cents. Also, look at this stuff. Yes. Yes. I need that. I don't need more quarks. I bought a bunch of the bins and I still haven't done anything with it. Instant stencils. I think this is like some vintage transfers. There is another building. It looks like this is where the furniture is. Ooh. My son has been asking for a bike. This one's a hundred. That is not awful. It looks almost brand new. Wood wreath, ten dollars. I don't think I have anywhere I need something like that. Okay. I still need a lampshade for my lamp, but honestly, y'all, I have not even turned that lamp on since I made the video. We just, it's not something that we use in our house, so I haven't decided if I'm actually going to keep it or not because we just don't use it. These chairs are so cute. I wish they were a different color. I like the legs. I like the shape. I like the tufting. Lamps. Look at this light fixture. Those some tall lamps right there. If you do not know, I am speaking at a conference, a creative con in Jacksonville, Florida in a few weeks and I am flying and I do not have any luggage. So the lady helped me out over here and she said this was carry on size, it's five bucks. So the only thing is if I go thrifting over there, I won't be able to bring anything back, but I still feel like carry on is going to be the easiest. So for five bucks, I'm totally going to get this. All right, I found the baskets. They are hidden under a table. Oh my gosh, look how cute. This one has a little knob on it. Okay, I gotta get that one. <laughs> I'm gonna try to be picky because I have so many baskets, it doesn't even make sense. Oh, look how pretty these are. I love the color of them. 15 cents. I gotta get that one. I love this one and really you could take the handles off and it'd be perfect basket to put on the wall okay 15 cents I gotta get that one this one's 10 cents and also very adorable that I would want so I'm gonna get these three look at me self-control all these baskets and I'm only getting three all right let's check the kitchen stuff this is two dollars for this metal cake pan. I might get that. I need to look it up, see how much it resells for. Two dollars for this ginormous rolling pin. This thing is huge. 
Okay, I'm gonna get that. It's a bunt pan. Who is this cast iron? It is ten dollars for this cast iron piece. Oh, I like this one. Y'all, how cute would this be with some little peed pots and some little succulents sitting on a shelf? That would be adorable. Look what I just found. Twenty-five cents. Look at this amazingness. Add those to my bag. Y'all know I don't know about a lot about glass, but cake plates seem to sell well. And look how cute this one is. I like the peachy color. I love the pattern on it, not only on the cake plate, but on the bottom part. So I think for a dollar, I will grab this. Y'all check out this set of cups. I'm not sure which metal it is, but they are amazing. It says made in Italy. There's four of them. They're $8, so $2 a piece. So I'm definitely going to grab these. I feel like they're definitely something. Look at that. That's beautiful. All right, here is the Christmas table. And I feel like it's getting closer and it's okay for me to start collecting Christmas stuff. Also, everything that I have been purchasing um, that is Christmas has been selling. This is not Christmas, but this is really pretty. Waco. No, I wonder if it works. Let's see what else they have. Because, you know, when you're a reseller, you always have to be a few months ahead. This is really pretty. This is ceramic. And this is, like, wicker. That's cute. What it says? Kirk Adler. I like this. It's a dollar. I might get that. It's really cute. Crocheted joy sign I don't know if that's crocheted I don't know what you call this piece of work okay I have so many of these at my house in Louisiana this is my favorite thing to put on my tree these little wooden ornaments I've collected bags and bags and bags of them I could probably decorate three trees with how many I have and I'm sure some that I have are very valuable some little cherubs Oh, I love all these tall Santas. That would be so cute in a little collection of them. Look at this one. I like those. I don't know what the prices are on them. 50 cents. Some little birds. Some more sleighs. This one looks handmade. I like the metal bottom and how tall this one is. Here's a Santa. Ooh, he's silver. Ooh. There's a marking. It says International Silver Company. Okay. I'm going to get him. Oh my goodness. Y'all know I have a weakness for these little Muslim figurines. They look to be in good condition. I really like what they're wearing. It is perfect for fall. And they come with this bench for $3. I might have to get those as well. I mean, how can I pass that up? I'm gonna have to hide them from Ren because I always bring that stuff home and she takes it and plays with it and it never gets up for sale. She has enough stuff. She doesn't need any more. Okay, I don't think I need any Halloween. I like this sale. Look how organized they are. They even had carts for you to take your stuff out. So I spent $43, y'all. And I feel like if I went, went, went by a piece of luggage brand new, I probably would have spent that. So I feel like definitely got a great deal. All this stuff. Make sure you leave a comment below and let me know what you think was the best item that I found today. I'm pretty positive I showed y'all in the video everything that I purchased today. Look how pretty this is. 
Hi guys, I hope y'all have a great day. They actually told me about an estate sale down the street that I didn't know about. So I'm gonna head there next and I will post that video tomorrow. I'm back at the sale because I realized the first thing my husband is going to ask me is if I found any Hot Wheels. And I realized I did not look in the toy section because my kids don't need any more toys. And honestly, my husband doesn't either, but I'm gonna buy him these Hot Wheels for $3 and I am documenting it right here. <laughs> he always says I never found him Hot Wheels. Today, I did. 